Hi guys, welcome back. This is me, Osama Gaza. Welcome to my channel. And in today's tutorial, we'll see how to create this cool splash effect or splatter effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's very easy, very simple, but it works better if it's a part of a bigger transition. Uh, because on its own, it looks a little bit like um, 90s or 80s. Uh, but it's really cool trick and simple, so I thought, why not just showing it to you guys? And yeah, let's see how we can do that. So, uh, first things first, we of course have to overlap our two clips the way you guys see here, or depending on how many frames you want your effect to last for. Alright, this is the, the clip I want to transition into the first clip. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is looking up for something called transform. You can find it under distort over here. Drag it and drop it onto the second um, clip, uh, the cliff clip. And go to scale and drag it all the way down to zero. Something like that. And we want the transition to start around this point over here. So I'm going to set a keyframe for the scale, zero point, then move like 15 or 12 keyframes. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you can hold shift and move the arrow key to move your cursor five keyframes at a time. All right, then I'm gonna bring back the scale to 100. All right, so let's see how that looked like. Yeah, just, you know, the clip jumps into the first one, uh, really old-fashioned kind of transition, but again, it's very simple transition, and um, as I said in the beginning, it works best if it's kind of part of a bigger transition in your video, All right? The second thing here I'm going to be doing is activating the shutter angle just to make it a little bit blurry and instead of this straight, flat look, and increase this value to 360. So... Now it looks something like that, a little bit blurry, as you guys may notice here, which is so much better, actually. And I'm just going to cut my clip to get rid of this black part in the beginning. So, yeah, now it looks so much better. All right, guys, so the next step will be looking up for something called Turbulent Displace. And as you guys can see, you can find it here under Distort. Drag it and drop it onto the second clip that we're trying to blast into the first clip or into the scene. And now we're just going to set up a few keyframes and trying to match it up with, um, with um, scale keyframes here. So I will be going to, first of all, the beginning of my clip and try to set up the amount to something around 500, like really high, 500 or 600, something like that. As you guys can see, it started, you know, um, spreading throughout the, the canvas or the screen already. Then increase the size a little bit. Then we can play we can we can play with the offset a little bit, but after we finish this, so I'm going to be increasing the complexity to let's say five, and the evolution, the beginning will be, uh, the beginning value will be something like um, a hundred. Then this is uh, this trick is really important, guys. For it. you have to turn the pen and off. So instead of pen all, so drop down this menu and change it to none all right so these are the beginning keyframes guys like everything we set up here is the beginning of our transition so i'm going to set a keyframes for the size offset complexity and evolution then i'm going to set my cursor to the last keyframe here and turn it back to zero 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 and oh uh, it doesn't really matter, just hit the reset button over here, the reset parameter, then turn the complexity back to 1, 1 is the lowest value, and the evolution to 0. All right. the last step here will be just highlighting all my keyframes and easy ease them, so uh, it gets like that smoother look. So you can, you know, change it to Bezier or easy ease or ease in, ease out, so for now I'm just going to do it, um, choose the Bezier option all right let me just render into out sequence render into out all right guys so this is pretty much the splash effect as you guys can see the turbine displays is using um, the scale parameter in order to 
suddenly appear and blast into the screen. So it gives that sort of splatter or splash screen. So imagine if you have like a footage where you're trying to spill uh, water, you know, towards the camera. Imagine if you're using that piece of footage to apply this effect. It will look really nice and it's gonna fit a lot within the context of your footage. So again guys, that, that was pretty much everything regarding this flatter or the splash effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so again, just before I leave you guys, uh, feel free of course to navigate through these options over here. Try to use, use it once with a bulge smoother, twist smoother, bulge twist. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. It was pretty easy and simple and quick effects, but I just thought it might be nice to show you how to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.